Hey guys, Rich Page, our Gemathan Timber Frame Company, the main timber framer. I want to take a couple of minutes today doing a little bit of maintenance on the Moffel bandsaw, uh, cleaning out in and around the guides. So we cut a lot of pine here. There's a lot of potential pitch buildup. We do use a lube on the blade, but you do get some buildup. Let me show you what I'm cleaning up or what I've already cleaned up and what you want to look for as you're maintaining this saw. If you don't clean up in and around the saw on the bands of your wheels and in your guides, you're going to find that uh, you can either throw a blade or break a blade. Let me show you what I'm cleaning up and how I'm doing it. All right, so this is the, uh, the band saw. I've got the top cover off. I've got the bottom cover off. So you can see that you've got a rubber wheel here. I've cleaned this off. I put some alcohol, light alcohol on a rag. This spins pretty freely and working to clean up all the pitch buildup. If you get pitch buildup on here, your blade is going to find its own course in and around this area and potentially it's going to give you a cut that's uh, less than desirable. The second thing that we want to be cleaning up on are these guides. Let me see if I can't zero in on this. Trying to get a little bit better with the camera for you guys. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you can see these guide rolls in here. I'm using a Q-tip, a long Q-tip. And what you've got to do is you've got to come in here and clean these guides. All right. And what you want to do when it's all said and done is make sure, and you can see, hopefully, let me put this over here. You can see that these guides are now rolling freely. You want to check and make sure you don't have flat spots on them or anything like that. You're going to get where I'm pointing for this uh, Q-tip. You get buildup in the back, and what it will do inevitably is push this blade to the front, and it's not going to run where you want it to on your guides. Second thing is this is a backstop here for your guide that runs the back of the blade. But you get buildup, you can see. Let me spin around here. You get buildup in behind here that pushes the backstop forward and it doesn't ride where you necessarily want it to in your guides and it doesn't ride where you want it to on your wheels. So you gotta keep these clean, especially if you're running any type of pitchy materials. Um, let me show you up here on the front side or on the top side. Same thing, you've got the same setup here. If you look inside here and you can see the Q-tip, let me see if I can get it focused, not on my hand. Okay, I think that's going to be about my best spot right there. But you can see these guide wheels. Same thing, you get you get build up. You can see where I'm going back in here with a Q-tip. And I'm going to come underneath it over here. And I'm going to clean in this area here. You can see the backstop guide here. You want to clean that area. And you want to clean in behind that so that can move freely and clean this stuff out. So I've already cleaned out most of it so it's not as bad. You can see this top wheel. This is the motorized wheel. I'm spinning it around a little bit. I've already cleaned that off with alcohol. But what you'll do is you'll get a bunch of buildup in that area. And what that will do is it will not allow your blade to track uh, straight and true as you expect it to. And that can give you a cut that's less than desirable. So you want to be working on keeping this thing clean. Uh, let me see if I can grab the lube that I'm using on this. Hold on. I'm going to take a quick little walk here with the camera. And I'll show you the lube I'm using. And I'll show you the lube I was using. This is the lube that I started to use. It's a silicone lube. It's uh, oil-based. It's got some Teflon in it, so it keeps, things, it keeps things moving pretty freely. The reason why I went from the silicone lube from uh, what was recommended with Timberwolf, which is this lube, is that this chain lube here... Is, is a wax base. And what I was finding is inside these areas here, I was getting a wax buildup that made it difficult for the back of the blade guide to move freely. And it was getting to be, I don't want to say solid, but very, very stout uh, buildup in the back from the wax loop. So I changed to the silicone loop and it's moving much more freely. Same thing with these guides down here. But just wanted to show you, you got to take some time to clean the faces of your wheels. I got a little build up here. I'm going to go around these one more time with a little bit of alcohol on a rag to clean those off. Uh, same thing on the top here. I've cleaned best I can get in here. I've cleaned this one off. You can notice there's not much tolerance. Let me get on top of here. There's not much tolerance at all for this blade to go around. So it's going to be pretty clean. And if you get any buildup of consequence on those uh, rolls or on those wheels, uh, you can have a tracking problem. 
While I'm right here too, uh, this is my air blow off system. This is where I bolted it in underneath, if you can see. These two little screws right here, I, I screwed those in. Put this little uh, uh, NPT quarter, quarter inch uh, air blow off and that blows the uh, dust. If you, like I say, you tip it down this way and because it's cutting in the up position coming up this way, it blows the sawdust right in your face. So this keeps the sawdust out of your face. But anyways, wanted to just point out cleaning in and around these guides. Use those long tip Q-tips. Um, I've got a blow gun here. You can use compressed air. I've got one of these Makita little blow guns here. And so once you loosen it up, you can blow it out and keep it working smoothly. But if you don't maintain this, you're going to have some problems and you're going to have some issues with the tracking of your bandsaw. So I uh, wanted to share that with you every now and then, uh, probably... For me, I'm doing it a couple times a week, just working to keep this clean so that when I do make a cut, I get good tracking and I'm getting a straight, square, true cut. All right, give me some feedback. Click like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.